Attention, if you come in just for a quick uh, announcement or two, and then we'll be underway. Well, welcome everybody. This is a Bristol Land Conservation Trust event, uh, and we're thankful that Mount Hope Farm lets us do this. Uh, we do hold what we call a conservation easement on the 10 acres on the other side of Medicum, or Route 136. That's uh, uh, just under 10 acres, and it's really just there as a buffer. It was part of the uh, Haffenraffer estate, of which this was part. And uh, we just hold that, and we keep it, uh, help keep it as conservation land, and it really serves as a buffer. and. Uh, for some wildlife. It used to be, I think, long ago, a, a just a field, because there was some farming here, hence the name farm, and it was a larger property. But the Haffenraffers lived in the uh, White House. Carl Haffenraffer started Narragansett Beer. And uh, I think that family lives, or did live in uh, Sakana. Uh, what we're going to do tonight uh, is we'll start here, and it's an easy walk downhill, about seven tenths, eight tenths of a mile. We'll go down past the pond that you see, just stay on the road, and you'll see a, a field on the right, past that, go through some woods, and you actually cross a small part of Brown property, originally part of Mount Hope Farm. And then you'll wind around the cove called Church Cove. You'll pass uh, the wonderful place called Cove Cabin. That was the little summer place for the Haffenraffer family. And you're gonna pass that on your right. Uh, and you can go just a little bit further and there's a big field and that's where we'll all gather and you can walk around there it's very safe they use that uh, for parking when they have uh, wedding uh, uh, events and other events receptions in the big tent which i think has come down and uh, so we'll meet down there there won't be any trouble today to see where it's going to be coming up, but I have it. Who has an iPhone here with an astronomy app? Anybody? Okay, well, we have a couple. We'll help you locate it. Again, I would say around 450 it'll rise. Oh, there's a, some turkeys over there. Yeah, through the woods there or through the trees. Anyways, on the way down, you may see some ducks and a swan and geese in the pond. Look out for coyote. Uh, look out for a fox. There are deer around. Turkeys are over there. So we never know what we're going to see or hear. Uh, we may hear a, a great horned owl or a barred owl or a screech owl on the way back. And for those of you that have cameras, when you come back, uh, make sure you look back towards the moon through the trees. Because every 100 yards or so, or 50 yards, or 20 feet, you get a different view, and and there's a wonderful view once you get above the pond with the reflection of the moonlight on the pond. So there's all kinds of uh, photogra photographic opportunities. And uh, the cell phones work well with this uh, event, and uh, so play around with your cameras, and uh, we'll, you can just come back here at your own leisure. It's uh, most people stay around for about a half hour. It's a little brisk tonight, but I thank you for coming. I want to find out how many people are here to, uh, to Mount Hope Farm for the first time. Oh, good. Uh, it, it's a wonderful place to visit. Uh, there are lots of opportunity to go walking here. I'll have this little red wagon with me and the uh, cider, so if you need a little something to warm up with, that'll, uh, I'm happy to serve you. And then bring your cups back, and I've got a trash bag for that. So if we can just start going down the road and take it all the way down, stay on the road as much as possible until you get down to the big field at the point. Back and doing this. Oh my 
take sun went down at No, I don't know when she she went to the It's cute. <laughs> so when one time when we had the full moon rise walk, right at the time that the moon was coming up, the international space station. That was two years ago. Was I was here. Oh yeah, oh that's Remember great. We so oh. excited. Yeah. That's something that I you don't no. no, and I told my friends. Can you see the rings on Saturn? <laughs> you can with binoculars a little bit, uh, but I don't have my scope here. Uh, the scope would make it a lot nicer. It's boy, what a night to look at it actually. But the cider made it really nice. Yeah, so no, that helps. Is how slow it's moving up. One of the reasons is because it's coming up at more at an angle. Okay. It's not coming straight, straight up and up, down. Like it's, in the summertime? <laughs> yeah, well, in the summertime it does come up. No, the winter, uh, when it's further south, uh, when it's really further south, it comes up more okay. straight up. But so, okay, so. just like the summer sun, it, it comes more at an angle. Okay, that's interesting. Because it will come up and go all the way around and then it will set in the corresponding place on the uh, western sky or northwestern sky. The two planes up there. Well, I thought one was the space station. <laughs> no, you can't see it in the evening right now. Because I'm thinking that if we, when by walking back, remember how we were telling people yeah. to look back yeah. and you see it, you might not be able to see it. Well, it'll, you'll see it differently. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to head back. Okay. Last call for cider. <laughs> oh, boy. I shook my hand. Lieutenant.